Let me tell you like this. When Nas went at Jay-Z, Nas made one record called Ether. And that shit went crazy. Ether went crazy to the point Jay-Z folded. You know what I'm saying? Folded all the way. So Kendrick, you making three songs back to back, back to back. And I'm like, you know, this 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 it's this, this not it. Who won the battle? The battle ain't over. It ain't even a battle. This is internet. Okay. If you are live, subscribe. Um man, I know I, I usually I usually come on. And I ask you to subscribe and like and all that. And we're just cool. But today, I just want to uh, I want to shout out somebody. I want to shout out Big Fridge. Uh, he was having a conversation today. And he was talking about how that one person said that, uh, I'm going to unfollow you. you. You lost a follower. Um, I, mean, I preach to my kids all the time. Nobody can stop you but God. God is the only person that can stop you from where you're going. If you don't like me, I don't know you. I be trying to tell people this. I don't know you not to like you. I already got all my friends. Like, uh, my friends are cool. We've been friends over 20 years. I have met friends in the last year or two that, that we are super solid and they real from the heart. So um, if you don't like me, that don't make us enemies. If you say something about me or you do something about me, for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to capitalize off of what you said about me. I'm not going to have the envy that you got on me, on you, because my heart, I ain't built like that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'm a real, like, nobody, nobody, I stood beside Jay-Z and I stayed humble. Mm. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't ride him. I didn't act like I was a big old fan, even though I was a fan. But I didn't, I didn't change who I was because of, of the right person in the room. And so I don't care what status you are. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. care what status you are. You only influence me with a good heart. You know what I'm saying? That's what a, a, a good heart influenced me. All the, the lights and the cameras and action, that's cool. I've been getting it from the mud for real myself since I've been since I've been able to. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so um uh, uh shout out to Wet for being here today, but Wet Man, um a man can't make me. Is that absolute? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I and, and I ain't wanna start off my show like that, Wet, but um It's all good. Wet man, I just want just a, a, a another legend from Cashville. I just want you to introduce yourself to the people. Where just give them a little, just give them a little draft of your. What up, what up you y'all? This your boy DJ Wet, the originator, the founder of Fuck Your Favorite DJ, one of the originators out of Jazzy Sensations. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. You know what I'm what, saying? I've okay. been here for a long time. Okay, Wet. I'm glad you brought that up. Go ahead. Um, Sensations, man. We thought we thought we owned that. You did. did we own it? Yes. Or, well, I'm just saying, and, and it's gone now. We never saw that leave. And what happened with that? Man, it's the uh, the politics of the state. Okay. And that's really what it was. The politics of the state and, and what money um, that the state wanted. And they cutting deals with certain people, certain yeah. colleges, should mm -hmm. I say, and that want that area. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying? They try to, you know, when, you, when the money come involved, you know what I'm saying? It's it's over with, you know what I mean. That's yeah. how that's how it is, you know. That it's all about the money at the end of the day. It's all and, and um and, and I know we going I know we going back a little bit, but I know we kind of wanted to touch on the subject of the uh, fifty years of hip hop. You know what I'm saying in Nashville. <laughs> you know what I'm saying just Man. a <laughs> just Man. a little just just serious a little touch on that like. Well, hey. with you being a DJ, mm -hmm. do do you kind of feel? Did you feel like left out that nobody was a part of that? Like yes. what? You know what I'm saying? Yes. It, 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 like, when it was talked about, and I heard about it, I I, I felt offended. I felt very offended because before it was, it was rappers of hip hop. It was like it was four DJs yeah. that brought hip hop, and I'm talking like 1983. Okay, come on, 1982. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They brought hip hop to Nashville Fact. before Walk the D. Mm -hmm. You know, it was shout out to Walter D because he's coming on. Yeah. Okay, he's coming on. Okay, yeah. Unk started a lot. Okay, but, but it Walter was DJs. D Walter D is who? Just to just to let the people know. Walter D's family. He's like he's an uncle okay. to me. Okay. You know what he, I'm saying? He he was the blow, blow, the blow pop crew was the first people to perform like at yeah. the municipal and stuff like they that. They opened right? up for MWA. Okay. They okay. opened up some blow pop crew, you know what I'm saying? They out of edge here, out of the other part of the south, you know what I'm saying? So Walter D 
came out with the twine around here. Then when, and you talk about Walter D went viral before ever anybody yeah, ever viral. did. Well, even over viral, he was going. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? Because that twine it, it circulated everywhere to the point Chub Rock took Walter D's beat. That do uh, uh, treat them right. Chuck yeah. Rock took that beat <laughs> from Walk to D and him. And the shout out to Uncle Sean that done the beat. You know what I'm saying? And Chub Rock went all the way through it. You know what I'm saying? Went all the way to the to the to the max. And that's Walk to D's beat. So if they, but so I'm just saying, in your opinion, if they celebrating the 50 years of hip hop, who who's supposed to be on the show? Or how should that you the know? DJs? What I mean? like the DJs, okay, okay. The DJs, they okay. left out the DJs. They left out my my daddy, Mister Magic, who brought that down here. DJ Ice, uh, Victor Chapman, uh, uh, DJ White Knight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All those, you know what I'm saying? Even C Wiz for that matter. But C Wiz is Weez, younger. Yeah. He's younger than these people. That I'm talking Weez, about. That's my guy. You know that? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. my that's yeah, my that's cousin. My you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, man. So they they talked about so much. 50 years of hip hop and nobody went back because they were asking people that's not from Nashville about 50 years for hip hop. Yeah, yeah. How can you expect for them to know? <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nobody, you asking the wrong people. Not yet have you asked people like me or people that, uh, or the person that owns this stage, which is Mr. Magic. Facts. You never asked them. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. That's where I got the problem at. It's, it, but it's, um, you think, is it certain people in, position that can actually make that happen or you you don't think do we got anybody in position that even can even let the governor and stuff know like hey they're not from nashville guys, okay they're not from nashville now that anyone that can make it that's in position that can make it happen is not from nashville okay nobody the biggest hip-hop station in nashville nobody on there is from nashville okay but maybe one person mm. you know what i'm saying yeah. so how do y'all know yeah, Y'all don't facts. care yeah you know what i'm saying with, with, with a person like me i cared about yeah. the culture of nashville I'm not from Memphis. I'm not from Atlanta. I'm not from Detroit. I'm not. From, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, but then this, uh, this too, this too though. Um, well, I gotta take it here too. Like, the culture from Nashville is great. Like, it's it's, it's so many of us. I always talk about this. Like, it can be so many of us that's great in the culture. Uh-huh. But if if this crew is a good crew and they got one bad apple in there and they keep that bad apple in there, then it it, it it stops us from coming together because I can't go over here if I know you got a bad apple over there. Well you get rid of the, you get rid of the apple. Yeah, but what if they ain't but that's, that's what I'm saying. So if the other side ain't getting rid of the apple, how can we work together? Well that's a good question. If the other if the other side get rid of the apple, they really about ain't it ain't, it ain't about their business. You're not about your business. If you don't want to get rid of the the bad apple that's gonna that's going to make your fruits, you know what I'm saying, yeah. harvest to a big old, you know what I'm saying, right. field, and that one apple is stopping you from creating a field, and you're still in this damn fruit basket, yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Then you need to get out the way. Yeah, because it- Because you and your feelings. Yeah, and I, cause it, like, like I said, it ain't cool, like, I, I'm cool with everybody, and I love everybody, but guess what? I can't come around you if I know the people around you that don't like me for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just saying, in a, and this is a worldwide thing, and just a Nashville thing, but I think we got to get a little better with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, we, I mean yeah, we should come together, but you got to realize we from Nashville. And you know what I'm saying? It's no, nobody's over nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't, we don't, we don't rock like that. We Nashville. just don't. I, I know we don't. We yeah, don't do we, that. We, we don't do it. Yeah. It's not. It's no head person. It's no big. Facts. It's not. It's none of that. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't do it. But you know, if they're not going to like respect the fact of man, dude, you are from Nashville. Yeah. This yeah. is I. They took. They took so much from us, though, P. Facts. Facts. They took so much. I seen cash money take things from us. Yeah. I seen L. A. Dudes take things from yeah. Nashville dudes. Facts. But I What's seen up, New York. You see it. You be like, man, hold up. That started here. Yeah, facts, right well, here. You got juvenile. He 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 said he said, he said my career started there. And so, but so what we need to be doing? How even with the music scene, we know we got a great. It's like even I was telling Airwater Boy, I was like, man, I can't even really pick because we got a wide range of music. Like you got the Breeze, you got the Hello Dante, you got the Bucks, you got the Stars, you got the Papers, you got the Quant, you got all these yeah, yeah. great stains. Yeah, you got all these great artists in one in one pot. So why is it ain't pushing? Is the DJs not pushing the records, or is it a, a come together thing? You know what I'm saying? Like why is it not pushing? Well, the, the underground DJs are pushing the records. Okay, the underground, including myself, because okay. like I tell everybody, if you done music in Nashville and you brought it to Wet, Wet played it. Okay. okay, every single artist in Nashville. If you came across me, I played your record. 
Every single one. But the, but but a lot of these artists, they're lazy. They just want the club fame. Like, you just want to be going crazy in the club. Well, let alone, you coming to me, and I'm at, yeah, I'm at Sensation <laughs> playing your record, but why you not at, uh, like, a Lavo yeah. or, like, a Soho or, like, a Limelight? Or, but why you even, not there? But even outside of, even even just still, you can just be so known in Nashville. Uh, what what If you do push a record, super duper tough in Nashville, Nashville hearing it, what about the other states that want to support? You know you what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what you got to do as an artist. Okay. You got to get off your, you know what I'm saying? It's leg work. You got to go out there. And the, and the grind, you making all that music in the studio, you don't make it just for me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Nashville nigga, so I'm going to play it because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, even if the record is not good, yeah, I will okay. come to you be like, bro, look at my crowd. I'm going to let you see for yourself. Yeah. They yeah. not feeling this. Yeah. I need a record. Keep go back and cook up some more. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, Pil uh, Pilsen was talking about that, and Pilsen was saying that uh, artists get mad when you tell them to put some seasoning on it. Yeah. And and and, and, and I think seasoning can come in so many different ways. So why ain't, uh, why ain't the artists reaching out to the DJ and saying, hey, man, what, you know what I mean? Do they reach out and say, check these records out? No. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't. Because the DJ is bypassed now. You know, so now when you got YouTube and social media, the DJ is bypassed. Okay. They don't, because like you can put your record out on YouTube and get so many views now that the DJ got to play it because you had a 2 million views Thanks. and now it's, you're more requested. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got more of a, if your record's more requested than it is, you know what I'm saying, of just giving it, giving it to the DJ, you winning. Yeah. It's, it's five people ask me for this record in every club. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to play it. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? So you know what I mean. That's what that's basically what it is, though, Pete. Man, it just you know. Look, shout out to Air Water Boy, um, cause I know he probably watches my dog. I, I miss him, uh, man. Um, it's, it ain't too much I can say on this, but uh, if he pull off, and I I know he is because that's what he do. If he pull off what he's pulling off, uh, we gonna be on another level on that. And uh, shout out, to, I can't I can't say too much on it, but uh, right. I do wanna I I do wanna bring up a topic that we talked about on the show. And uh, we was talking about the Bucks and the Haystacks and the Quanis and the Star. We was talking about numbers, mm -hmm. and this is what I thought. Of. I just me personally, um, do it count when you're actually selling out, out, out of hand? When uh, the numbers you can't see those numbers right when you're actually hand to hand CDs. Cashville fact. And sound scan. And we talking about sound scans. Sound scans. And sound scans was faking everything. It was now, so, all right. Okay, so. Uh, how do we count up who's doing what? Oh, I can. Okay. Quantum Cash. No, uh, no artist in Nashville has done more than Quantum. Nobody. Not one Woo! person. Quantum Cash is the mirror. That mirror that he got on Main Street. Quantum Cash sold more records than your favorite rapper. Mm. Quantum Cash. It's a fact. And this coming from a, a DJ. Fact. It's a fact. DJ Infamous. Had a, a record shop on on Jefferson and DB Tire where the old okay. athletes' feet is at. I know what you talking had, about. So Quani, so Quani had a album over Jeezy. Jeezy just came out. Quani right there. Mm. So as so you asked everybody when, when I came out and I and that, that Quani is done. Ask me, look at the numbers and ask me. Ask, just look at the numbers. And ask yourself, did Quanti Cash sell more than Jesus? I'm gonna tell you something. I and I say yes, he did. But look, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, it's a lot of artists I saw selling CDs out of hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm and I'm just talking about these main three: Buck, Starlito, and Quanti. And, and and we just leaving. To be honest with you, I'm gonna say this: I'm really finna start leaving Quanti out of this out of these conversations. And I'm going to tell you why. Why is it? Because he's done so much. He has. He has inspired everything around him. Mm -hmm. He's the mayor. He, he, you know what I'm saying? And so, really, you really have to take him out the conversation just, just to put him in a league of his own, just to be honest. I mean, we're, we're quite, I'm going to tell you what he did. Nelly, okay, we're at the Gentry Center. I just came out. The director, I, I. Uh-huh. They, once, once they play Quanti Cash, Nelly comes out, right? Yeah. Everybody damn near leaving the flow. Everybody wanted to hear Quanti. 
You know what I'm saying? Kwani did. Kwani went harder than Nelly at the Gentry Center, man. Well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna brag on those three. Slamma Jamma. I'm gonna brag on those three. What I just, just who I just talking about? Kwani, Buck, and uh, Lido. And only reason I'm bringing those three up because um, I know for a fact not only was they hand in hand in the CDs, everybody had their CDs, mm -hmm. and so. Even being from North Six, like if 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 a Kwani CD or a Buck CD was in the hood, everybody was buying one. Right. If, if, if Kwani pulled up on North Fifth, everybody could be fifty people on the block. Everybody gonna buy a CD. And so we talking about a wide range of when we talking about selling. Well, well it, it is just to be fair about it. Before Buck even went to like UPT. No, him and DJ had that um that one album when the Buck had that single yeah, uh, back uh, on uh, up and give me room. room. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, so Buck, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have just a whole, whole variety of of mixtapes back then what Kwani was doing. Who did that album? But, but back on up and give me room. Who who produced that album? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. D Smooth from the bottom. D Smooth from the who bottom. Who raised Rest D Smooth? Rest in peace, D Smooth. Rest in peace, D Smooth. Rest in peace, D Smooth, man. Who raised D Smooth? Kwani. Kwani Cash. Again. He's touched so much. And I ain't guess what. Look, one thing, I'm going to tell you something. Don't get mad at me because I brag on somebody's accomplishments that I have actually saw with Man, my eyes. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? I, right. can't, I can't get on my part and lie for and you. I'm not going to lie for, for nobody, nobody. For nobody. I'm going to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Come on, man. They playing. Y'all not going to give that man no, no flowers? No, no, no. You know what? Let me tell you like this. It ain't about no flowers. Give me my flowers when I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not going to pay we ain't giving no flowers. Nah. Because he got so much to do. He, got, he done so much. Came out with a hood classic that went, come on, man, that, that won the Sundance festivals. I said, you know what my favorite rappers is? It, back then, I said, Pac, Biggie, and Quanti Cash. Oh, my goodness. Quanti Cash was like, man, when I was a kid, Man, when I seen the bottom boy van ride around, do you think do 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 you think he get enough support from the rap community being as big as no. he is and done no. much as he done? No, he don't. He don't. Quan done a lot, man. I'm not, not ain't no ain't no riding, but I'm just calling facts of what is what and is what I fact. have seen as a DJ. I st I'm the only one that still kind of plays his music to this day. Okay. To this, day. I don't let I don't let I represent or. 36 was in the zip lock. Well, yeah, facts. I'm still playing stuff like it because, because of what it has done. And, that, and, and, and hold up. That's Kwani song. Um, get that. Like, you know, that that's always kind of been out there. And shout out to Lishy and E Ed and shout out to yeah. Rest in Peace T.I. Right, yeah. But that that that's Kwani 36 is a zip lock. That's what? Whose song is that? That's trouble. That's trouble song. No, that's Kwani song. That's Kwani song. See? They said, I See? thought it was trouble song. See? See? I thought it was trouble. Rest in peace to the homie Rest trouble. T.I. trouble. Yeah. That's Kwani song. But guess what? But when you heard 36 was in the zip lock, that's trouble, ain't it? Most definitely, but that, that, that always been, see, that's what I'm saying. Everybody don't, that's Kwani song. That's who got the rights to that, everything. Mm. Yeah. That's true. It's a big video out there that Kwani shot that that is the that is a big hit in Nashville. I'm just telling you, he got his hands on everything. He got his hands on everything. Um, um, what's that song with Buck and uh, uh, uh Hambino? A lot of bodies. Lot of bodies. Oh, ask me, ask ask me. Hey, hold before you go there. Ask me who was the first DJ to play that record. Who? Who was the first DJ to play that who? record? I don't know. Who you tell me? No, 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 no. These niggas want to. Hold niggas, up. Let me on. ask you this. No, let me ask you. They come on this damn let podcast me ask you. and go and not acknowledge the fact. Nigga, I done that. Okay, let me ask you Me this. and Red, me go and Raw Toon. Hold on, let me go, let me go back. Hey, Red, who was the first person to play that? A lot of bodies. Me and Raw Toon. Okay. Stain. Me, Raw Toon. Dope Boy Swag. Paper. Me, Raw Toon. Because okay. it came through sensations first. So, do DJ Wet. Get the support and get the love that he should, no. much as you done done. Look, no. DJ, wait, look, the first time I ever met you in sensation, you told me, come up in the booth. Yeah. I was saying something to yeah. you, like, come up in the booth. Yeah. I'm like, he cool. <laughs> yeah. And so do you think you get the the credit or the respect just for breaking records and sensations? And who see, that's why I hate the sensations going, because some records was broken there. Buck, shout out to Buck. Ask Buck, ask Buck, when he came through um, another bird, guess what he came through first? 
Sensations. Who is the DJ? Hello. Hi. So How what, y'all what, doing? What, I'm DJ Wit. So what's your, I mean, and I ain't saying people should be doing anything, but like what, like what's the credit that we supposed to give the DJs that we ain't doing in Nashville? Because it's, it, nigga, look, it's Cashville over everything. I keep on trying to preach this to them. Right. And like, and that's why, I, like again, shout out to everyone, the boy. Shout out to Fridge, Q. Like the OGs got my back. Right. That's why, look, that's why I don't care about the chatter. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care about the chatter. Um, it might be three people in this city that don't like me. Why? Tell me why. Why the hell they got any problem with Ricky P, with Ricky's well, if you alive, subscribe. Why do they got a problem with you? Because they can't tell me what to do. See, we live in a world of control. Uh, if, if, if somebody tried to come and control you, and make you go a certain way, and you telling them like, "No, nah, I don't want to go that way," because, because you know what I mean, because you know uh, what you're doing. They don't like that you can't control them, and they can't tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's their fault. And so, and, 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 and so, this is what I'm saying. I always tell them, "Quit using my name." Like, say for instance, I see some of them when they bring up pocket, they be like, "Ricky's world, you don't even like me." Mm-hmm. But you want to, you you, they'll use your name mm-hmm. to try mm-hmm. to make them look cool. Oh yeah, I mess with Ricky. No, you don't. Right. No, right. you don't mess with Ricky. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They do me the same way. Fuck your favorite DJ. You ever you heard that? Where that come club? from? That's me. I know, but where it come from? Why me would you say that? Me and my brother Raw Tune, we just, we just when drops for the DJs got popular, and I say you know what I'm saying we was making drops, and I say this to say that they they didn't like me, but they wanted my drop. Mm. They didn't want they didn't like me, but they wanted my voice. They wanted me to make them drops and stuff. But I say, no, nah. you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. It's like how you say, I can't be controlled. I can't. It's just, um, I want to, I'm telling you, I just want to be myself and stay myself. You know, the, the the people, the people that I, I have a problem with, if they know you're a good, they know you're a good dude. You know what I'm saying? And they'll take advantage of your kindness because, like, you, they think you ain't going to say nothing. But I be telling people this next week. I'm telling my people that you don't mess with me. Right. We ain't, fin- you know what I mean? We, uh, if if you from Cashville uh-huh. and you ain't on the wave of the Bucks and the uh, cook-ups and the Quannies, and I'm talking about when we all coming together and everybody's coming to one place, they coming here, DJ Wed, I'm bringing it together. Right. That's what I'm doing. Like, yeah. for, I don't know what y'all be doing. I don't know what y'all be saying to these guys, but you can ask the Bucks. You can ask the cook-up, the yeah. Quannies. Yeah. Every time when I talk to them, I'm telling them, man, we need to come together. Yeah, we should. But are we all going to do that? I ain't on. Guess what? The ones that do cool, the ones that don't cool. That's what we doing here. Right. What we doing right here, we bringing the people that can work with each other and whoever can't, it's cool. And and, 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 and don't make don't make me an enemy of yours because I don't want to work with you. An enemy? So they, they take it so far and make they, we gotta be enemies? We gotta be in, we gotta do all that. That to the point you a legend in the damn city and you talking about some other bullshit like I can't say names and shit like that. The rappers, this is what I want to say to the rappers. Y'all ain't the only legends in this city. Ain't at all. You got you you got guys, you got street guys, the business guys, you got DJs. Man, we all legends. Barber, barber, Once all, we, yeah, barber shops and all that. What all oh, barber shops, shout out to Nate Miles. Nate Miles, and man. Only where, where and all, all you know what I'm saying? Come, Come on, on, man. man. <laughs> uh, e, you know what I mean? Tristan, my Come boy, on, you know what I'm I could go down the list. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. They and don't so, understand and this so, shit. I'm trying to preach the message of we all legends. Um, you good at some, I'm good at some, right. he's good at some. If you just do your job, right? What is it going to take for people to, to just do, do their job. job? What is it going to take for people to do their job? Just sit back and do your, just do your job. <laughs> just do your damn job, man. Get yeah, what? You know what to do. Just do it. You making it so hard, and you're so much in your damn feelings. You're so much in your damn feelings because you not, you feel like you're not getting the right. That's why I said I don't care about the recognition. Cause when I die, when my, when I, when I die, my grandkids gonna know who I am. You know what I'm saying? That 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 means so much more to me than just having saying, just me just wanting the credibility from you. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, my grandkid, when I die, man, my grandkids gonna know who D- D- my great granddad was DJ with. You know what? You know um, what I'm saying? That's more, that's it for me. Wait, you know I, what I'm saying? I try to this, this, look, and this is for the people that uh, everybody ain't godly. Some people really on more on the evil side, but I always tell people this story right here of Jesus. And, uh, he was the security was at a house where he was at. His mama, his cousin, his brother, and it was outside. Well, hey, tell Jesus we outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, what Jesus told the security, go tell them. No, nah, my family is who I'm with. Talk that shit. My family, yeah. that's why I be trying yeah. to tell people. Yeah. yeah. Where is my family? Yeah. We it, it, y'all be so worried about blood when I got friends like where gonna do whatever I need them. And so yeah, uh, a- create your own narrative. Uh, it don't create. I've been trying to tell you, create your own narrative, you create go. your own there people, you and your own family, you so you can get to where you gotta go. You that's know what it, I'm that's saying? In so many aspects. And, yeah. and even even with you, with like, um, what what was family? Because you've been solid. You ain't you ain't curve. You ain't wave. Um, uh, did that come from magic? Shout out to magic. Yeah, they came um, from magic. Yeah. Magic been on in clubs, and he he's not talked about enough. He's not he's not been a, given the recognition. Uh he had the longest running club probably ever yes. in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. yes. And so yes. let's talk about magic for a minute. What he doing and what's going on with him. Wait, I know Pops, man. Pops is a hustler, man. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna always make some stuff happen. He's never down, man. He just always trying to go always up. He's ne- I okay. never seen him down. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna he's gonna always he loves his city. Just as much okay. as the next person. Okay. When you came to Sensations, you was family. Mm-hmm. That's why when you came to Sensations, it wasn't a whole lot of recording with cameras and stuff like that because everybody let their hair down. You can do whatever the hell you want. Facts. As long as you ain't bothering nobody and nobody's bothered by you. you. You know what I'm saying? Sensations on a Sunday, if you was poor, don't got no money, right? You don't got a dime in your damn pocket. But on a Sunday, you go, you'll get your free plate and a drink at, at Sensations. Ooh. You was, you was about there. If you stayed in there, you might come up on ten dollars real quick. I, I want you, know you to. I, mean? I want you to say a little bit more about this, but I just gotta say this real quick, real quick, because they need to. They need to. They need to hear this. On Sundays at Sensations, you're gonna get the best place you done got all week. You ain't gonna just get no like no food. You coming in to get the ton of green, the macaroni and the chicken. You <laughs> yeah. gonna get your yeah. best plate. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. uh, 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 we missed that. And uh, like. Give us more. Are, are, are we going to do another one or what? what's magic? Absolutely. What's on magic mind? We're going to do another one. Okay. We're going to do another one. I can't just really disclose so much about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's still in the making. But yeah, we're going to do another one and it's going to be bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? It, sensations wasn't a, it wasn't a building. It was a, it, it was, it was, it was, it was people. home. It was home. It was home. Y'all don't understand that, man. It was home. You, it's, it's like, you didn't never plan to go to Sensation. It's just like you roll past Sensation, you just went in there. And you're going to stop. And you just go your back. If you're black and you from Nashville, yeah. you either roll by or stop the Sensation at least once. If you black from Nashville. And I'm just saying, on the, on, on with us, since uh, Paradise, see, well, Paradise, they understand. Well, Paradise mm-hmm. first, I was in Paradise. Uh-huh. Before it turned to Sensations, it's just like, it's just the spot like, hey, where we going, man? Shit, let's stop by Sensation. We'll stop by some, you know what I mean? And so, um, uh, we we we, we, we going to see more of that. Yes, we are. But then, and, and when it's coming, when it's coming to the city, uh, where what are you doing to trying to bring the people together like they need to come? Just with the new society, we have to learn how to make some money here. We born and raised here. Um, uh, we got visitors from everywhere. We have to learn how to make something when it's coming to the man, revenue here. With, with, with me, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not over nobody. So it's like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm walking with y'all okay. side by side. So that's why I like I go to out of towns. I go pull up like in L.A. Like I go to uh, holler DJ Don Juan because mm-hmm. he in L.A. Or Sir Swift, he in New York. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Let me go just move around. Or you know what I'm saying? Or where, where, getting in where I fit in. So you know so, what? I can bring wherever I want to bring it. But just because I'm bringing something to the table don't mean everybody get to eat. But but but, do you, but do you know like uh and I gotta get your I gotta get your props on this I just gotta cause uh my show is is really about just you know uplifting and, and, and letting you know like you did something in sensations that just ain't gonna you created a vibe in there you know what I'm saying like right. uh everybody totally knew DJ Whip gonna shake it he gonna play our music and everything you know what I mean and so um I want to shout out to you for that Whip man uh. Right. 
that's just it's just you know it's just we don't got that a lot but everybody's doing it but uh i want to ask you a question i want to talk about that uh the kendrick lamar and drake man i um it it just started off okay you're a dj with you know what i'm saying like it's beef cool is 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 battle what they're doing is cool in any sense these yeah, days. No, no, battle has always been a hip hop thing. Okay, hey, you know, yeah, absolutely. But this, this not this is not hip hop. This is this is this is internet. Okay, they like the whole battle like thing. It's like okay, this is so internet right now. Cause I heard I ain't gonna lie. If you want, you want me, you want me to give you my honest opinion. Yeah, I, I, I my wanna... honest opinion. That Metro Boom and Future uh, song that that they got. Okay, can hear. Yeah. I feel like it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like it's bullshit. Why? Because you didn't acknowledge the fact of where that song came from. That da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. nigga, that's Joe Cooley and Rodney O. Everlasting Bass. Yeah, facts. That Hold was a, that that people from Nashville used to gangster walk to. Facts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard it, I'm like, this shit is lazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Kendrick gets on there, and you know, it, it, reason why it was so good because hell, nobody else has got nothing else to listen to. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's been listening to Sexy Red all damn for the yeah. last six months. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Once, so, so they needed something too. They needed something. To, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I, I didn't, I don't like it. Then you got J. Cole backing out of it. I'm like, man, boy, you ain't hip hop. This is this this is hip hop. But what but, but but what I'm asking is where why come we can't just have battle rap and just let it be that? Like, do you think, do you think Kendrick Lamar went a little low? Just, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just when it comes to, uh, I think he could have did a better job not even uh, framing somebody for a charge. But, but, okay, let me tell you like this. When Nas went at Jay-Z, Nas made one record called Ether, and that shit went crazy. Ether went crazy to the point Jay-Z folded. You know what I'm saying? Folded all the way. So, Kendrick, you making three songs back to back, back to back, and I'm like, you know, this, 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 it's not it. Who won the battle? The battle ain't over. It ain't even a battle. This is internet. Okay. This is internet. Y'all going so, so low. Is, is it internet? But you're a DJ. Mm. Is it entertaining or what? What is your? What is your? I don't. For wanna, you. I, I mean, I don't. I really don't like the records. Okay. I don't. I, I like so far as like music wise, I don't like it. But yeah, it's entertaining internet wise. Okay. Okay. It's Are you like, playing that in the club? Them this songs. The this songs. Which one? Any of them, and just and any of them. Them? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Okay. I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just, you're not, you're not impressing me. Okay. And I'm a diehard Kendrick Lamar fan. Most definitely. Yeah. Diehard. This ain't no shot to him. I'm just trying. You know what I mean? I mean he can take it away. He wants to, to, but you know what I'm saying? But you know, like, you know, just like I was a diehard. So I was expecting so much more. See, I was, I was liking the Kendrick day when he was hungry. Yeah. Now you're not as hungry no more. I'm not gonna hear that hunger no more. Come on, when Kendrick was hungry, man. You know what I'm saying? When he was out to that first album. Man, I man, I fell in love with Kendrick's um um body of work, man. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And Drizzy too. I'm not gonna act like Drake is not a great artist. He yeah. is. Y'all can't deny him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking for if y'all gonna battle, battle. I'm gonna tell you something though. I'm gonna be honest about this. Like this ain't this ain't got nothing to do with entertainment. It got something to do with entertainment. It got something to do with, do with streets. It got to something to do with real. It got something to do with everything. Like with um everybody's mad at Drake, but Drake, you slept with Lil Wayne chick. Um, I'm look. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm 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 I'm, I'm Man, giving. It. I don't get it. How y'all niggas have billions of dollars to sleep Hold with up. the same goddamn woman? That's what. How does that happen? Ben. How? Well, look. If we got a mean that, I got mean that. Man, I'm gonna go get some different bitch that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go fuck with them. That's a street code. That's like, a street see, code. Look, homie. If guess what? If you that nigga yeah. that's sleeping with all your homeboys, gals, and you can have any gal in the world because everybody can get somebody to look like somebody, like that's a street code. And so I'm a Drake fan. I am. Still a Drake fan because this has nothing to do with rap. But when it's come to street and keeping it real, and I ain't even talking about streets, I'm just saying a man code. Wait, I ain't trying to mess with your gal with, and we got uh, plenty of, I'm Drake, I can get anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. I mean, so why why go through that? Why go through that headache? Why go through that headache? To the point where y'all niggas is so fucking weak. What that make you? But I'm just saying, just because you rich, do that make you? What that make you? You a true that? sucker, man. Okay. You a true sucker to the point, man. A dude, a, a dude, dudes came and bring no gal around you. That's a 
You can't break because like, but did it get, I'm not gonna keep hanging around you because I'm not even tiptoe around you, homie. Like even that. though I know it's dudes like that because I don't been done like that by dudes in this yeah, city. I but I ain't even gonna talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't I even going and and, and and so like at the end of the day, I don't care who you are. If you messing with your dude, one of your homeboy gals or baby mamas or something, you just a sour apple. You a sour like, apple, it ain't, yeah. You, it you ain't, mark it. That stuff ain't because it's too, especially if you of somebody. Right. You know, I can see right. you didn't look nobody. You kind of snuck up like I'd be surprised. Like, damn, nigga, you hit her? Like, right. you deserve to get it because you ain't I mean, even worried. Like, but right, if you are right. somebody, you can get anybody. Yeah, man. but man, but this is though, man. I, I, I was the type of nigga. I don't want nobody, girl. I did like I, it was so it was so competitive. Like if you had a bad bitch with you, you know, I'm like, oh my nigga, you did. I'm high, I'm Ooh, high five. Like I'm trying to get nigga. something to, you know, so I, I can I, show you. Like nigga, I got nigga, what? what a friend said, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you know, man, that's friend my said, first. What a friend. What yeah, fact. what a friend. That's Bang. how it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't want your gal, nigga. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. But don't. But as a man. Don't put, don't don't flaunt your girl around so many goddamn niggas, Most man. Most definitely, one hundred percent. Because nigga will try you, yeah, one hundred percent. Like you don't know say you keep flung your girl around. She has I mess with Lil Le, Dirk said, "Don't nobody know what I live in, but my gal, me and my gal." Like, That's it. And, and I and and I respect that on another level, man. So to, don't let a man use two things. Your woman or your car? Because he'll throw a rod in <laughs> hey, your car and he'll throw a rod in <laughs> your woman. Shit, yeah. <laughs> but 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 wait, man. Like that's what I, I knew we were going. I knew we were going to get in it and um. Give, give me your top five artists in Nashville. <laughs> this is this, this is this. my top five artists. Okay, young or old? Let 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 let's do the old ones and the young ones. Oh, my top five from Nashville. Mm -hmm. Pistol. Okay. Kwani. Mm. Uh. L. A. Mike was dope. Okay. L.A. Mike, Linda Parvis Mike. Uh, who else? Uh, put L.A. Mike in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bonnie, LA Pistol, Mike, L.A. Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, L.A. Mike. Uh, hmm. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay, not die. Yeah, because, me. Like, Cause I can't, I'm not trying to, man, what do I say? Okay, Pistol, L.A. Mike, what is that? When I say Pistol, L.A. Mike, Kwani, I mean, Buck, Buck is definitely one. Okay. He, you know what I'm saying? For another old one. Uh, shit, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it legendary shit, Walter D. Okay, shout out, yeah, that's right. Walter D. And look, um, I've been trying to tell people this for the longest. I'm keeping my, I'm keeping all my people out there. This ain't about no competition or nothing like that. I yeah, just like is. to see what's yeah, in your P. mind. Yeah, it is, P. I just it's, try all to feel like, P. Okay. it's all competition, P. It's all competition. That's yeah, where we mess it up at. Okay. They think it's not competition. It's all competition. <laughs> it is. Because no, we, we come from a city where nobody's bigger than nobody. Yeah, so facts. everybody's working. Everybody's yeah, playing facts. the game. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's all but, competition. But we are staying humble and uh, we together. Like, this is a cash real thing, right? Yeah, but I'm only humble to to my to my to ones that. Yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm not talking about. It. Yeah, I, I get okay. Right, everybody everybody else. I want to smoke. <laughs> I want to smoke. I want to smoke. I want to smoke. I, want to smoke. I, I do. I well, mean, top five DJs in Nashville. Since you want to smoke, top five DJs in Nashville. Since you want to smoke, who, who? Top five DJs in Nashville. Who? Who, who, who the top five DJs in Nashville? Nigga, wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go on, man. No, but I ain't gonna get you in trouble like that. No, no, I don't give a damn. But look, but now think about what. Now I'm just uh me and. I fuck what with a lot of DJs. For the record, I do fuck with we a lot of DJs. We got them DJs in Nashville. They don't think nobody in the world want to mess with Nashville DJs. That's the, see, that's the other part which I ain't understand about the Cashville, the DJs. It's, they don't respect the DJs. Why not? You know you know what? That, that's a good question. Okay. Why not? What do we do to y'all for you for y'all not to respect us? I seen niggas sat in this same chair right here and don't acknowledge no DJs. And they rap. Okay. And I seen this set in this couch, and I'm like, nigga, I was playing your music. Mm. Nigga, I was playing your music. But you gonna sit on, you gonna sit on um if you're alive, subscribe, and not and not acknowledge the fact, and not acknowledge the fact that, that you know what I'm saying, your your records were played when you but you don't want to talk about this set because it was like quote unquote so ratchet and stuff. Yeah, you don't fine. want to that your record was being played right now. And where there. they break them at. They get they get but, broke but, right there. But, 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 but you don't want but you don't want to acknowledge that. Yeah. It's people that sat on your couch, though, P. That I was upset with. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a facts. couple of them. A couple of them. I'm like, man, what, 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 like, who the hell are you? Niggas, a lot of y'all niggas, even on radio, niggas sat on here that own radio stations. Nigga, you don't even know what the hell going on. 
You don't know mm. what the hell going on. You got the biggest hip hop station in the world, but you such a damn do boy. And you know what I'm saying? You don't want to play the records. Right. You don't well, want to play the records. You they, okay? This is a fact. They said Lil Stain. Uh, he had that song called uh, All, All the Way. All, All, yeah, time. All My Life. life. That shit was played at Sensation uh, first. Got played on one one point one, and they said they were fine forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand wow. dollars. This is the thing. This is the thing. If you if you had a record right mm -hmm. back in the day, you didn't know what the hell monetizing that shit was. Right. If your shit was hot, I mean the DJs that was on radio came to the streets and, and went to the people at the radio station and said, "Look, this is the hottest shit in the streets right, right. now. We got to play this record." Are the radio station listen to the DJ? Do you guys got no. communication? No, they are do boys. They are do boys. Or they are yes or bosses. They are goddamn yes or bosses. You know what I'm saying? You go, oh, yes or bosses? I won't do that no more, sir. I won't tell you. Yes, sir. I, yeah. I do what you tell me, though, there, sir. I'll play it. I'll make sure I play this whack ass record 40 times a day so you making people like it. Hmm. This shit's whack. But you won't, you know what I'm saying? But you talk about how does Memphis and Atlanta get away with so much? They play Thanks. records. Come Thanks. on, man. They play records all the time. And I know a lot of them records ain't monetized no, no. or. Yeah, or Copyright infringements and all, all that, that bullshit. Fact, you know what yeah. I'm saying? All, all that, all, all, you know, all that. So you ain't trying to hear it. Like, I just... ain't trying to hear none of that okay. shit. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. You got the biggest hip hop station, in, the only hip hop station in the city, and nobody on there is from Nashville. But, like, shout out to Avriana. Oh, Avriana, that's my. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. She from Nashville. That's my the best sister. thing that ever happened to 101. Yeah, facts. That was the best thing. And guess what? We rooted for, we rooted for her. I'm rooting for her. Look. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Her. I'm gonna tell you That's something. That's the next Oprah. Look, She's the next look, Oprah. Look, hold up. Oh, she she found. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. See, um, they undermine this. I saw her come on at the Steve Harvey and shake it. And shake it. And see, and so that's why, but you got the people in the media, the people outside, y'all gonna understand this. She came on, every other personality came on after Steve Harvey and shook it. And shook it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, 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 that's that's coming behind a closer, right? You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and even though it ain't the same in the radio world, but she came behind that big name. That's some person. She uh, she deserved that spot before Dola White. Hell, fire Dola White, put Avriana right there. Mm. If you are, if you are, if you want one on one to be what what one on one Nashville whatever the big you person, think she she you think she can turn it up yeah. and do Avriana, it? Yeah, yeah, Dola White need to be fired. Well, well, I'm with Dolo. What's up? What's up? I'm with Dolo, though. I mean, because I mess with Dolo. I'm saying like it. I mess with Dolo. That's my guy. Huh? That's my guy. I mess with but go ahead. And? <laughs> I was playing with you, man. No, I don't. No, I'm, no, I'm saying you free no, range. No, 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 he gets on here and got the nerve to say about what DJs that he don't mess with, what DJs that he do mess with. Yeah. So, but you know what I'm saying? But you get on here talking about what you don't mess with. Who are you? Who are you? You ain't in position. You ain't in position to do none of that. You ain't in position. You ain't from here. You're not from yeah. Nashville, Tennessee, to say what you don't fuck because you ain't in the streets. But shout out to it's another part, like Kenny Smooth, right? Yeah, he's outside. He okay. ain't even from it, but he's outside. I just did a show with him last night. Okay, you know, okay. so Kenny Smooth, ninety two Q. That's the people station. He was here. Shout out to Kenny Smooth too. Yeah, he's outside. Okay, he does stuff in the city. Okay. Regardless of the controversy that he goes through, he does stuff. And he ain't from you, nigga. Have you ever seen Dolly White? Never even came on. On Brick Church Pike or Trinity Lane, right, right. become the sensations. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but you hire niggas. You you hire people that's not from Nashville, and I want to know why. But but well, you got Evriana, Evriana, and me personally, that could take if Cumulus. They well, didn't take I, her. I, I I would agree with get Evriana a big check and and let her represent for for Cashville like she's trying to do. The only way I can't I, do it. I I I, I believe in that. You know what I'm saying. I believe. Um, I'm not gonna force say firing Dola White. But I believe that he can put a person in position like Adriana, and 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 I and, and I know for a fact it'll blow, it'll do he really good. I, I, I don't I don't know what, I, like I don't know what he'll do, but yeah. I don't think he would because it, it boots you out. Sorry, I mean you know what I'm saying. I Adriana, think the Adriana personality show would blow on one on one. Adriana can, can control the whole radio station aspect of it. Her, this, they got slammer jammers. See, she just, she, see, Adriana, this thing about it is, her show is cool, but she's smart. You know what I'm saying? And so I, th I think if, if if she can get a show like Dolo White and Scooby Head and make it the straight Adriana show, I think it'll blow. I think it'll blow at one on one. Dolo White and Scooby show was cool. But he had to put her in that that position. I'm right. just I'm just saying put her in that position. You I know mean, what I'm saying? Wait, and still White shout out to Dolo, but I'm just. 
I mean, I don't got no problem I would, with it. I would love, I would love to see Adriana have her full on show. I would too. I would too. And shout out to like, like C Dub. C Dub. I he believe in her. C Dub. I talked to him every day. Shout out to C Dub. C Dub should have his own show too. He got it. He got it. Well, C Dub know- is a he cold. He cold blood. Nine nine point three streets. Yeah, shout out to them. That's my guy. Okay, so so Dola White and Scooby Show, right? Really, really. We only only person y'all ever played was Quanti Cash, and y'all only played him because he made drops for y'all. Mm. Quanti Cash was the only person that was on consecutive in rotation on Dola White and Scooby Show. You know what I'm saying? But did they play anybody else? They want to go do that. They want to go do that. They gonna do. They would do boys. And I and I call it for what I look. If you don't like what I'm saying, check check the background. Check it. I was I, I was there. I'm listening to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't, but you know what I'm saying. Don't uh, recipe Scooby. Recipe. Uh, well, I like I said. Recipe I'm, Scooby. But no, then hold up, hold yeah. up. But recipe Scooby. Most definitely one hundred. But 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 you just how do you get a street on Andrew Jackson? You know what I mean? People that lost their lives in them projects for Thanks. you to get a street. Facts, you from Atlanta, homie. You from Detroit, whatever. But rest in peace to everybody. But you don't got yeah. no family down here. Dollar White, you don't got no family down yeah. here. Facts. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of people deserve a lot more. Quanti should have got it. <laughs> I mean, Quanti had a mural. Yeah, I know. I know. But, but if it tear, they tore and, it down. And, 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 and shout out to Scooby, man. They they um they have done they have done a lot for the for for, for the town. And like maybe what? not to like maybe not P? to the to the top of, I mean, I'm not. What they do? I'm P? not in it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, do, okay. P? Okay. What they do? P. What did hey, they do? I'm just trying they to take up a little bit. They got. They got on one on one. And look, they did. Okay. They, so far as radio, they did do that. They did do that. But y'all you know say, but y'all, y'all didn't look at the the underground DJ that was that was hidden, yeah. like. DJ Whitey, so man. So why y'all ain't got that relationship with with all those guys? Since all those guys are DJs and everybody, they they all run a station. Why ain't all the DJs connected to where? Because it's competition. You can? It's competition. Nobody wants to see a DJ do better than nobody. They don't. They don't. If I'm in there, I can see. I can tell you a couple. It's a few DJs that came in the parties where I'm DJing and they and they and they and they you know they they tensed up because I'm walking in the building. You know, I'm not trying to sound arrogant or nothing like no, that, first. but when I walk up in there, I see DJs put yeah, you put your A game on my oh. nigga because I'm wet, wet coming in here. Yeah, because nigga, I take pride in. But the do culture. wet feel like that? Have whatever? Do you feel like that? Like you, like oh, the DJs in the building, or do you just going in DJing? I'm going in DJs, holler my DJs. You know what I'm saying? How the people? I know get runs a lot of DJs that I do mess with. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you like this: DJing has they made DJing so easy. Okay. Anybody can be a DJ. Okay. Me, I come from a different era. You know what I'm saying? I come from crates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I got carried crates. Nigga, I was a roadie at six or seven years old for my dad. My dad is a DJ. Mm-hmm. Mr. Magic did. So yeah. I'm carrying crates for him to go to Nashville Nights, go to Malibu. To go. I'm carrying crates Facts. and yeah. got to go to school the next goddamn morning, man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So the culture, <laughs> that's you, know what that's a, I, you can't tell me shit when it comes to this DJ thing. Okay. Because I was, I, I believe in the culture. The two term ta- two turntables and a mixer and a mic. Of what that meant, I create, I, I create, I, I hold power among so many people. But, is it, but, but think about it. Even though DJ has got a little easier, do you think that's what makes you a better DJ that you came from that era? Because this is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, any DJ can go DJ a club, but uh, when you got a wedding there, you know it's gonna be it. It is what it is. So, do you think that made you a little better, as in absolute the craft and just you know respecting the craft? Shout out to Mr. Magic. Shout out to Mr. Magic. Two point man, dude. Man, we was at school. It was school. Then it was DJing with us. You know what I'm saying? I was going to like like you on park and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And DJing. Yeah. And DJ like learning from my daddy, man, fucking up, messing up albums. This back then when you got put the needle on the track. Yeah. And I'm breaking and I'm breaking shit. And my daddy gotta go do a damn uh party the next day, but I don't broke the needles. Mm. Just trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? The culture became so I became so intrigued with it as a kid. That's why I could play any crowd. Yeah. That's why to this day, I I, I now don't get me wrong, I don't like to play the young crowds too, too, too much. Okay. I like to play the demographic of my own people, my own uh age demographic. So so where are you taking it? Uh after DJ, what 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 what's next for Wet? What's next for Wet? Man, Wet, man, Wet, man, Wet, Wet just get this Man, that's a good question. What's next for Wet? I'm just going to keep going. 
I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what wherever God put me at, man. That's where I'm going. Yeah, that's man. where I'm going. So God, see, I be honest. God brought me on here to talk shit. Yeah, He did. He don't know. He did. God brought me on here to he, talk he, shit. He, say, he got. He. I swear. I went to bed. He put in my ear and said, "Look here." What go in there and, uh, and represent be good. We're going there to talk to your damn shit. That's what God told me to do. God, I'm God's favorite. Hey, look, God know what type of nigga I am. Uh, I like that. Um, one thing I'm going to say before we go. Live day by day. Tomorrow got his own worries. Um, worry about today. That's all I'm worried about. Tomorrow got his own worries. And keep pushing. Quit letting people uh, throw you off focus. Um, it's so easy, it's so easy to get some somebody to say something about you and you get mad and you go tell this person, you go tell this person, and then before you know it, you kind of all ringed up and they job, the evil one job is to get you off focus That's because right. he know where you going. Mm -hmm. And and if you know you're going to a high place, just focus on yourself. This is what my auntie said before we go. My auntie said, shout out to Mary Robinson. Okay. My auntie said, I got six months to mind my business and six months to stay out of yours. <laughs> if you're alive, subscribe. <laughs> Hold up. We, hey, hey, why can't I show okay, 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 you can, okay. What okay, you can end it out. No, no, what the what, what, what is? You can end what, it out. What does NDA mean? I can't talk on it. I can't speak can't on it. What? I can't speak on it. What? It's a lot of stuff no, I can't what, speak on. No, no, what does NDA mean? Uh, Non-disclosure oh, agreement. Disclosure, you ain't told on nobody. People, what the hell are they talking about? I, that's what I was telling my bro. I was, I was like, dang, baby, I ain't told on nobody. I ain't, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So, I so, didn't well, do well, it. Because um, I know we were talking, so somebody th said th that you can't is, say their name? Yes, this is the thing about it is this. This is what I want you to know. Who, who the hell? Who the hell? I, who the I hell? can't say it, but this what? What, But this is what I want you to know. What, I can't say it? Can I say it? I don't know. Oh, I wish like hell that any one of you <laughs> niggas talking about some damn NDA with me. I pull up at your man's house, nigga. Hey, look, what the fuck is you talking about? This is this is how I feel about that. If you don't want me to say nothing about you, don't say nothing about me or don't watch me. Because you wouldn't even know if I'm doing if you weren't watching me. And this, tell your friends, don't tell you nothing about me. I'm in my own world, my own lane. And shit, I didn't even know what the shit meant. I don't even know. I just found out. <laughs> that was, I didn't I, even I, know. A nigga I went and researched it. It cost $3,500. I went and researched so a it. A nigga paid $3,500 so, so you won't say his name. If you're a live subscriber, I'm out of here. <laughs> Man, that's, well, tell him to call me. Call me. It's all true. <laughs>